Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii here on ThinkTech Hawaii. We come to you live every Tuesday at 12 noon. We want to thank again the staff and uh, the support of ThinkTech Hawaii for giving us the opportunity to uh, empower our Kababayans. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and the big picture for us is we hope to empower. Today we're going to do just that with our guest who is a close family member. In fact, he is a nephew. He is a pride of the Ilocanos because of his way of serving not only our Filipino community, but uh, our community here in Hawaii for uh, all of the wonderful services that he provides. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce Joel Tolentino. Welcome to Pinoy Power Hawaii. Oh, thank you very much, Santi. And uh, thanks for having me over here at Think Tank Hawaii. Of course, our Pinoy Power uh, radio program um, mm -hmm. for you guys. And um, um, I'm so blessed that uh, um, you gave me an opportunity to uh, um, feature our show today and our incoming um, album. Mm -hmm. And yes. uh, thank you very much, Sunday. It's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we do is to let everyone know mm -hmm. what's mm -hmm. coming up and what our young people, young leaders, emerging mm -hmm. leaders like you are doing to preserve our culture and also uh, share our blessings with others. Mm -hmm. And with all of the um, recognition, the services, the award that uh, you have received, you certainly is a pride, a symbol of our Ilocano pride. Yes. Thank so you. let me start. I know you've uh, got you started your company, uh -huh. JT Sounds Productions, uh -huh. along with your wonderful wife, who is yes. my niece, Jane, yes. and uh, you have your children supporting yes, you too I in this three, venue. Yes, course, okay, yeah. would you kindly mention their name and um, uh, greet yeah, them? Yeah, I have um, my three children. Um, the oldest one is uh, Jano Tolentino. And second one is Jade Tolentino, mm -hmm. and the third one is small one. That's really uh, your <laughs> kind baby. of a crazy baby. Yes, uh, uh, Javen Tolentino. All right, mm -hmm. the three J's. Yes, the right. Three J's. Oh. <laughs> so we have five J's. Five J's all together. Mm -hmm. Isn't yeah. that wonderful? Mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, go now to uh, talking about how you started. I know that uh, you work for Bank of Hawaii for many, many years yes. now without mm -hmm. giving your age away. You're only mm -hmm. 25, right? <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Yes, um, before coming to uh, Hawaii or um, in America, mm -hmm. um, I used to um, already deal or in the inter entertainment business in the Philippines when yes. I was young. So okay. I joined a lot of contests and joined the, the singing contest in the um, Channel 30 Club, mm -hmm. ABC 30, in the, the TV station in the um, Philippines, uh, which mm -hmm. is they have uh, branches in Ilocos Norte, and we have uh, contests every week. Yes. You can call it uh, Channel 13 Club mm -hmm. uh, by uh, ABC 13 Channel or something like that. Wow. So I used to um, join every week. If you lo uh, win for that week, you mm -hmm. need to compete again to the next week. And so if you, you move win, on. yes. And oh. um, I'm so blessed that, you know. You know, my age is like Tawag ng Tanghala, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know you're born in Bado. Yes. Okay. So make the people from Bado pride. Uh, tell them so, exactly uh, where you're from. And of yes, course, mom um, and dad. Yeah, I'm coming. came from uh, Barangay 4B, Arong, Aring, Bado, Ilocos Norte. Mm -hmm. And that's the first part of Ilocos Norte we're coming from Manila to mm -hmm. uh, Ilocos. And I've been blessed that um, they all supported me throughout the years. And, um, and especially when uh, um, we used to join the contest and they always listen to the radio. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, we're loving it. We're loving it. We really uh, had an radio. Well, back then, yes. before mm -hmm. any of the social media or the cell phone technology came into play, yeah. uh, radio was the main entertainment yes, because okay. not too many of us could afford uh, to have television. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Of course, now it's a different story. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you can watch the world mm -hmm. in the palm of your hand by just viewing what you have on your cell phone. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I joined um, after I uh, doing the singing uh, or music um, entertainment in business mm -hmm. or not business, but you know, for activities. Mm -hmm. I joined um, uh, baseball, and I'm I'm glad and I'm blessed that I'm part of that uh, Philippine team before that. Uh, 
came over here, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't get included on the time because uh, something... <laughs> something good happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> something they insured or something. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> but you know, I've been blessed. And, uh, and then after that, I went to high school and college to be uh, playing baseball. Mm -hmm. Then I stopped singing mm. at the time, I think, because I concentrated on the sport. And because, the sport. You know, um, I'm a varsity player in and, and, uh, um, high school, mm -hmm. so I concentrated um, playing baseball, baseball, baseball sport. Mm -hmm. But I still singing some of the functions at right. the time. Then I went to college. Mm -hmm. I went to college in Manila for four years, mm -hmm. and um, after that, then um, come to finally come out over here. Wow! Yeah. So how do you uh, recognize your uh, DJ Rangtai uh, Mong Emay di Toy Hawaii? How did you come about? Yes, um, the regular immigra immigration system mm -hmm. and my parents petitioned us mm -hmm. to um, um, come away for a better living. Right. And um, Did it start with a grandfather or my who brother? Okay. My brother married to uh, one citizen and oh. so petitioned my parents uh -huh. and my parents petitioned us. I see. So yes. that's where Sakata roots mm -hmm. uh, through marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. How do you like living in America? It's pretty. Good and um, yeah, it's, it's a good opportunity. Uh -huh. As long as you work hard, you get you get a better living. You're gonna survive, yes, right? You're gonna survive. Uh -huh. Yeah, any kind of work, any kind of job, mm -hmm. and it's up to your. Um, uh, As an individual, like yes, you, uh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I know, uh, Joel. Millions of people are dying mm -hmm. to have the opportunity to immigrate. You know, may kanta tigong daway ng umay dito yah land of milk and yes, honey yes. to live the American and dream. Dreams, yeah. Uh huh. And uh, through uh, the luck of fate, you uh, finally made it here. We yes, made it here. Yes. Because I yeah. also have my Sakata story, mm -hmm. and it is through marriage also. Mm -hmm. So we're grateful for those that paved the way. Yes. Nagigay okay. nang nang yuswat nang look what iti dalan tayo. Dalan tayo ng umay dito yah yaku nada nga uh a brother na pagsapulan yes yeah in that case uh the grass is always greener yes. especially in hawaii yep yeah mm -hmm. okay so let's uh move on um mm -hmm. when you got here you, you got through it college uh you kind of dabbled with uh, playing sports baseball and then singing on the singing, side yes yeah how did uh how did your first album come into play well um because i've been um Playing some of like when I just got here, mm -hmm. I've been enjoying uh, playing a band, and I joined a uh, first band that I joined is a Himi band, mm -hmm. and um, second one is um, high frequency band. Oh yeah! And I um, sometimes I play with Nice band, mm -hmm. and we keep entertaining every weekend and the the giti par party and the kind of party and and then I really um, appreciate those. Um, Kababayan tayo ng musician and they give me an opportunity to um to expose myself or showcase my talents and um and we really had fun entertaining entertaining every weekend kada gitip pada tayong ilokano kada kada tayip pada tayong Filipino kada Filipino one okay so when did the love of music when did you realize that you had that gift? Nga makakanta ka at abilidad mo sinot nagapuan na dito ng talent mo Usually, um, my uncle and all my relatives, they are all uh, musicians and they, uh, uh -huh. every time they sing and they play mm -hmm. during great, back then when they get the, 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 when they the, when they they they, you know, if they singing, then they, after that, then you try to sing. And, you uh, try to copy and emulate. You copy, yeah, emulate, emulate, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then after that, then, um, all my, uh, mostly my cousin, they join singing contests. Mm -hmm. I think we have the blood line of... Uh, it's in the blood? Yes. Oh, yeah. good. And um, then, then I uh, realized myself that i mm -hmm. into it. Then I tried to join the contest, mm -hmm. and uh, thanks to God, you know. Yeah, you were uh, blessed. Yeah, you were blessed. And, they recognize uh, your talent. Yes, yeah. and um, then... But that 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 really mm -hmm. you know it's in uh, your blood. That, oh, you feeling. got the feeling, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's really good because that that's part of my therapy. Uh huh. Especially in here, if you work hard. Yes. Even though you were kind of busy doing mm -hmm. little businesses, but if you, you sing. sing, it's like yeah. um, that's part you know a way of therapy or. Uh, 
relaxation. That's, that's wonderful that you found your outlet. Yes. Also, uh, your passion. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know I, I follow you and <laughs> I see you singing in the car on the way to work or <laughs> going around the island or whatever it is that you're doing. You're also the uh, main person to go to when people or famous artists mm -hmm. uh, come to visit, especially Hawaii. They come to you for your wonderful uh, collections of uh, lights and sounds to yes. produce a concert. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, um, we started with um, playing this small DJ. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember when um, I just came from Philippines mm -hmm. and when I seen a lot of people playing music, and so mm -hmm, I collected mm -hmm. different kind of small turntables, small mm -hmm, old, old mm -hmm. TV. You experimented. Experimented, mm -hmm. and because I didn't have much money to buy good equipment, mm -hmm. so I used to rent different equipment just to uh, get the feel. Yeah, get the feel, and um, uh -huh. I have the guts, and uh, that's one thing that you know I believe really to mm -hmm. myself that you know even though I don't have much money, mm -hmm. I rented equipment to mm -hmm. go play music. The oh. goods. So I keep renting, renting because you I have done it my own. Kind of way. And I, I started. Uh, I remember borrowing some equipment. Uh, some mm -hmm. of my friends borrowed some equipment just mm -hmm. to consolidate it. Put it all together. And put it together and go to the gigs. Oh. And that's how it started. You so, pretended. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, uh, and from that, you planted that. a small seed that yes. grew. And now when they have a full concert, mm -hmm. uh, when anybody's famous or uh, they're producing a, a pageant, mm -hmm. I know they come to you for the big pageant or uh, big events in the mm -hmm. Filipino community or uh, the Jubilee that we celebrate. And uh, every visiting uh, Filipino artist, I know mm -hmm. that they include your uh, sights and sounds. Yes, I mm -hmm. really appreciate for the support from our community too, especially those organizations. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, need a lot of patience to uh, earn or, or um, get all those kind of standards to do mm -hmm. some concert. And you need to have a lot of sacrifice your time, mm -hmm. your money. Yes. That's why I get scolders every time to, from my wife because, <laughs> oh, you, can, you cannot even afford to uh, uh, buy your own <laughs> shoes, buy your shirt or buy your clothes, and you can afford to buy equipment. Yes. And but I know that you don't forget to treat her well because uh, <laughs> she's got a couple of uh, Louis Vuitton Louis. bags, right? He always try to uh, make try, up for yes. it. Yes, uh -huh. I try to balance it, especially uh -huh. um, the uh, the first uh, years of um, getting busier on the time, and mm -hmm. I really sometimes a little bit neglected to my daughter. That's why and my the first uh, the old son because. Uh, you know, musician. Every time there's a lot of important mm -hmm. things. It's like they're worried at their school, and I we play music. We play music. Play music. music. I so poor thing for them, and I yeah. feel so bad that you know I didn't have time uh, joining them. And uh, now I, I'm trying to make up my time. Finding balance. Fine. Yes, yeah. balance. Indeed. We because gotta give kudos and uh, of course credit to your wife. Yes. You know, it yeah. takes a lot to support somebody yes. like you. I, re I, I really appreciate it because mm -hmm. he, tell her. Through the years, um, uh -huh. he's been busy um, doing a lot of things in, in our house, mm -hmm. but he's still supporting me uh, mm -hmm. to carrying my kids instead of that's my responsibility. Mm -hmm. And he's, she's doing it she's for doing me. She's doing all that. Yes. So could you say uh, she is the wind beneath your wings? Yes, you could... uh, you're <laughs> the wind beneath my wings, my lovely wife. And, um, if you could sing you. it, you could do that. <laughs> yeah. In fact, mm -hmm. I will surprise her because mm -hmm. we made a song for her at the Oh, you 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 gotta listen for it for the next album. Yes, okay. that's part of it. We call All it right, June. we're having a <laughs> candid conversation yes. with Joel Tolentino. He is a, a extended part of our family. He's considered the uh, pride of the Ilocanos mm -hmm. because nangisit tisi ko na kapsakengayam. We're gonna come back and return and continue our conversation uh, with you here on Pinoy Power Hawaii after this break. We'll be right back. Aloha, I'm Yukari Kunisue, the host of Konnichiwa Hawaii, Japanese talk show on ThinkTech Hawaii. Konnichiwa Hawaii is all Japanese broadcast show and is streamed live on ThinkTech at 2 p.m. every other Monday. Thank you so much for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you then. I'm Yukari Kunisue. Mahalo. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on ThinkTech Hawaii. 
My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life, which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go Beyond the Lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii. I am your host, Amy Ortega Anderson, a proud FBI. Uh, I should say full-blooded Ilocano, but uh, I, have a, I have two other uh, lahi in there, and that's uh, Spanish and Chinese, and it's true. I'm not making it up. Ortega comes from my uh, Toledo family uh, all the way from uh, Toledo, Spain. Okay, uh, the other... Uh, uh, the other part, portion is the Chinese side of our family, which is my great-great-grandmother. Okay, we're going to go back to our conversation. Again, Pinoy Power Hawaii come to you live every Tuesday at 12 noon. Uh, today we're having a kind of conversation with the pride of the Ilocanos. This is Joel Tolentino. So let's come back and uh, talk about the uh, awards and recognitions that you have garnered along the way for providing uh, great service because you know I have a fashion show coming up or I have an event. Oh, who are you gonna use for lights and sound? Uh, and before I could say it, they said, "Oh, use Joel." Mm -hmm. And I said, "I know he's a family member who's he's, he's the first one for me to call." Mm -hmm. So it's almost automatic; it's yes. given yeah, because you've uh, developed the reputation. Mm -hmm. How did you go about that? It's been a lot of patient that you know you need to adjust. You need mm -hmm. to be flexible. What mm -hmm. they um. Uh, requiring to and you need to uh, it's like I have always a model that if you may um, get a really high ambition mm -hmm. in your life you need to adjust yourself you need to adjust it you don't need you don't want that you know you get high ambition and you don't want to catch it so you need I always um, mm -hmm. have the guts to overtake it or um, trying to um, adjust myself mm -hmm. to um, satisfy my clients and uh, and I really appreciate all the support from the community that um, mm -hmm. for trusting me, mm -hmm. and um, and for just like it's a good organizational skills mm -hmm. that you you know how to deal with any kind of clients. Just like because there's a lot of clients that they're really strict, and there's a lot of clients that are really you know trying to really watch you. You need to some people know. Are hard to please. Oh yes, yeah. and they, and I think uh, why I enjoy uh, working with you. Mm -hmm. That's why I always call you is that. You have the ability to really listen. Mm -hmm. You know, when I mean listening, some people listen, but, you know, they listen and they do something else. In your <laughs> case, you really listen because you, you do what I ask you to do. And that's really, really important. Yes. That adds to the quality of mm -hmm. your service. When you uh, go out of your way and do the things that they ask of you to do, mm -hmm. and you step out of the plate and do it, mm -hmm. that makes you a real winner. Just yes. like be being on the baseball field. Yes. You know? So. And I'm not afraid of failing sometimes because that's the way you learn. Mm -hmm. And this gives you some um, um, thing or some idea to um, um, improve. Uh, improve. Mm -hmm. So yeah. don't be scared. To all the ones that are really um, trying to uh, uh, do what we imitate what we're doing, mm -hmm. don't please and um, try to do your best and uh, um, just. Being positive. Yes. Yes. Uh, you brought that up, the F word. F, yep. <laughs> Failing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's okay to fail yes. to improve yep. our future. Yep. And, uh, you know, you just have a great attitude, and I know that that's part of your uh, important recipe in yep. success. Yep. I believe in that. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, you fail, don't give up. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. You sound like uh, uh, the guy who says, never, never, never give yes. up. Yeah. Yep. And I always thank to those people that helped me up, uh -huh. especially um, um, for singing, because when I already um, mm -hmm. concentrated on the business, because um, we've been doing a lot of businesses at that time, mm -hmm. and I forget about singing, because I didn't have a passion already on mm -hmm. that singing, because, mm -hmm. you know, living in Hawaii, you need to work hard. Right, right. So, and I concentrated into production. Mm -hmm. And um, remember the first concert of... Um, 
Idol Van Bautista. Mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. you know, and well, we produced that. Yes. We were, uh, one, we were the first one to yes. bring mm -hmm. him. Um, mm -hmm. Pinoy Power work uh, with Van mm -hmm. at that time at the Philcom Center. Yes. In fact, it was our fifth anniversary yeah. for uh, Pinoy Power Radio. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It was a great collaboration, and you were part of that. Yes. So, mm -hmm. Uh, we're excited to have him back mm -hmm. because I know that uh, Van Bautista is one of the people that you idolize, mm -hmm. you look up to when it comes to music. And I know that he's had a lot uh, to do with your first uh, CD. Yes. And also he's helped you too with your second CD. Yes. And uh -huh. the reason why I got into this, uh, what do you call this now, um, situation of uh, recording the CD, just because of him, because... Mm -hmm. When we used to promote him, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I remember you interview me and uh, Cesar interview mm -hmm. me, and can you can you um, try to sing a song from him because mm -hmm. they want to listen. Mm -hmm. So I tried because you know I'm the producer, so I need to sing the song. And at the time mm -hmm. he's listening to. I remember oh. when you interview me. Yes. I'm listening. So oh, he has some you know kind of not really a good voice, but he have you know some. Uh, mm -hmm. He saw the potential. Potential. Yes. And uh, at the time. So after the concert, successful concert, so mm -hmm. I went vacation there the, in California, mm -hmm. and I went to their house, and he tell me, in Coco Come to Mama. Yeah. yeah, can you try this song? Mm -hmm. Hold on, we were just chicken skin about that every time that you know, I think um, um, my first try to um, record a mm -hmm. song, and I really appreciate it, and they've been blessed. You got the opportunity. He he, 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 uh, he like it. Uh huh. So thank you, uh, Idol Van Bautista, for giving me an opportunity to uh, go back to my singing career again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so he did open the door for you. Yes. Uh, we play a lot of his song mm -hmm. because we uh, go way back when mm -hmm. we first started uh, Pinoy Power Radio. So, you know, with open arms, we want to welcome him back. And that's why we're going to talk about the, uh, the Honolulu concert, concert. Uh, coming up. And uh, we uh, are inviting people to join us for this concert. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about the concert and... Uh, Yes, um, because I've been pr uh, promoting a lot of uh, artists mm -hmm. from the Philippines, celebrities. Mm -hmm. So, yes. and I noticed about mga kababayan, they like listen to the Filipino, mm -hmm. Ilocano. Ilocano. So it's about time again to bring an Ilocano entertainment to mm -hmm. all our kababayan, all the working hard mm -hmm. uh, kababayan natin dito sa Hawaii yes. and uh, Maui. They, so, and because of that, um, we're trying to bring, again, that uh, Honolulu show, which mm -hmm. is on April uh, 26 mm -hmm. at the Philcom Center. And we call it Sonata Neat, which is, I title it because this is my uh, album release concert. Mm -hmm. We call it Sonata because we have, um, I have one of my composers, uh, my uncle is Loreto Magsanidi, composed that song, mm -hmm. Sonata ni Ayat. Oh. And that's why I came up from idea. Why mm -hmm. not just name this concert as Sonata ni Ayat? Since I'm, since we are releasing this album mm -hmm. and uh, thank you to all my composers anyway and um, for sharing your talents and to all my our lyricists mm -hmm. the arranger and um the, of course um some of my melody provided by gary and ben bautista he's mm -hmm. really a very talented gifted mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. for sharing their talents to me mm -hmm. and um, um i really really appreciate what they're doing Okay, wonderful. Yes. We want to mm -hmm. con congratulate you on that. Yes. There's also a Maui concert. Tell us about the Maui, Maui concert. Maui concert is uh, going to be in uh, at Binihi at Ani at the Philcom Center on April 28, 2019 at 6 p.m. So, um, mga natin sa Maui, please, this is your chance now to mm -hmm. uh, see a lot of... Um, Ilocanos, Ilocandia's uh, singing sensation and Ilocandia's superstars. Okay, who are some of the artists and, that um, we can of course, um, mm -hmm. aside from uh, my, uh, the Prince of Ilocano song, Ben Bautista, we have uh, Noralyn Domingo, the voice of an angel from Canada. Mm -hmm. She's really good. And we have um, uh, the, f the voice runner-up, mm -hmm. um, Issa West. That's mm -hmm. she really uh, pump and you can, you know. A young uh, energy. Yes, yeah? and mm -hmm. young energy. Powerhouse. And Yes, mm -hmm. and um, we have, um, of course, the um, daughter of uh, Van Bautista, Michaela, and the son, Keanu, and they're really a uh, superb mm -hmm. singer. And we have um, Diva Sensation from Japan. He's going to be flying from Japan to here mm -hmm. to entertain us. Um, Auntie Emmy uh, Fernandez, mm -hmm. Emily Fernandez, 
and we have um, uh, my niece and the Ilocano, he used to be a book singer, mm -hmm. Ilocano superstar, mm -hmm. Mrs. Uh, Rosana Sarmiento Larocco. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we have uh, the very king of Honolulu, mm -hmm. Mr. Compadre Randy Valencia, he's really good. Mm -hmm. And um, the last one is um, the super Nightshade Band. They're always supporting me since mm -hmm. I started those uh, concerts. They always, I always tell them, open up, open open up the crowd for mm -hmm. a good uh, warm, part of Warm them, them up. Yes, yeah. yes. And they're really good. Mm -hmm. I always keep being with them. I love the band. Uh, with, of course, uh, Eddie Lactawen and mm -hmm. Mary Chris Banigan. Yes. They're really good. Wonderful people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to be a, a great night, uh, mm -hmm. two nights, uh, as a matter of fact, one here in Honolulu mm -hmm. and, of course, on Maui. So uh, we want to remind you, our listeners, to uh, come out and support. Yes. It's a great gathering, not only for Ilocanos, but to celebrate our uh, culture, yeah. our music, mm -hmm. our love, our pride of uh, the Ilocanos. Yeah. It's going to be a great, wonderful event. And the period of it too, and we had a meeting with um, OFCC, mm -hmm. um, Community Council of Hawaii, mm -hmm. that um, there's the incoming um, pageant that they have. Mm -hmm. And those four contestants, they volunteering, volunteering their self to mm -hmm. ASRA. Oh, okay. Yes, so, so they, they wanted part of this um, that mm -hmm. show too. So, and they want to learn some of the cultures and mm -hmm. the Filipino way of entertaining, entertainment. So he said, I really appreciate that they volunteered themselves mm -hmm. to um, come and let the people come in and show them where, where to see it. And Make them feel yes. comfortable. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a great way for yeah. them to be a part mm -hmm. of this wonderful venue coming up. Again, the date is April 26th. April 26th at the Philcom Center. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Maui. In Maui, I've been here at Ani Philcom Center, April 28th at 6 p.m. po. Kita kita po tayo dyan. Ilang tulungan na lang. Okay. So um, we appreciate you taking the time to uh, share uh, with us what you do in the community mm -hmm. uh, to help empower others in line with our mission. Yes. On Pinoy Power Hawaii, we aim to enrich, enlighten, yes. educate, entertain, mm -hmm. and the big picture is to be empowered. Yes, uh -huh. and I really appreciate that, you know, they're giving uh, me an award, and which is, you know, I've been really thankful, and mm -hmm. which is, I, I always Telling to everyone mm -hmm. that even though a simple person like me, mm -hmm. it's been recognized from can be recognized can can be recognized mm -hmm. from the community just mm -hmm. like you the empowerment mm -hmm. Hawaii of two thousand sixteen mm -hmm. and um, two thousand eighteen from the Gumil and uh, Wawa the Kaila Kwan mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. part of Ilocano yes. I really appreciate it. And, and then recently you were recently, uh, uh, selected, Mr. Barong. Mr. Barong and. Um, uh, I gave one of the awards to for um, the Philippine Business Women yes. Club and uh, Foundation, something like that. Yes, yes, that yes. To be um, in Entertainment Productions Achiever yeah. Award. Well, so you got it all. <laughs> Thank you. Again, we congratulate you, and uh, there are more good mm -hmm. things uh, to come up. Uh, Joel Iho, I want to thank you for the time you have afforded us, and yes. thank you for the empowerment. Thank uh, you, continue Uncle. doing what you do as pride of the Ilocanos. Yes, and I really appreciate those of uh, um, WOW Community Council mm -hmm. of Hawaii that they give me an opportunity to help yes. our board of director position. And uh, I'm kind of newer on that okay. uh, kind of responsibility, yes. but I do my best. Like the More third, things to come. More things to come. Okay. And the Samaya Ilocano, shout out. The, and I'm the... Yes. Serving us, uh, we're gonna treasurer. give you a chance. You gotta yes. come back because you got a lot to say. You have to say, I really appreciate your time. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> okay, Thank you. time is up. Mom, <laughs> you, have, you have to come back. Mm -hmm. But I mean, salamat again for giving us the time to uh, share the empowerment. Uh, thank you again. Mabuhay, maraming salamat po.